Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have not one, but two thread up boxes that have come in. I will probably split this into two videos because I get chatty and this could get long. If you're new here, my name is Angie and I have a hobby of buying stuff and selling stuff on Poshmark. My channel shows a lot of the things that I pick up to sell, but I also own a gym, so I throw some fitness and nutrition stuff in there occasionally as well. Like a lot of you that enjoy selling on Poshmark, this quarantine pandemic has put a halt on all my thrifting, so I recently started shopping on thread up for items to resell what these two boxes are are things that i picked out on my own from the thread up outlet so i'm going to go through here and show you what i got and i'm going to also tell you real quick how i chose my items so thread up if you haven't ordered before it's like an online consignment store i'll put a link in the bottom if you haven't joined, you get $10 off and I get a $10 credit. I go to ThreadUp, I go to the outlet, which is like their clearance items that are final sale. And then I filter either by the brand that I'm wanting to shop for or the category I'm wanting to shop for. And then I sort low to high because I'm a cheapskate. And then I start picking stuff out. They tend to have a discount if you buy this many items, you get this percentage off, this many items, this percentage off. 20 items is 40% off currently, so I try to buy 20 items at a time. I really like selling bathing suits and selling activewear. I've been having a lot of fun with that. So those are the items that I searched for predominantly. I also picked up a few shirts and dresses that are going to be complete surprises. They could be really good. Or they could be really bad. You know how sometimes you see something far away and you're like, oh, that's really cute. And then when you touch it, you're like, ugh. So I don't know. We'll see. So as I was saying, I've got two orders here. I have this box, which is 20 items. And then I have this box, which is also 20 items. Um, while I'm cutting this open and getting ready to start going through it, let me know if you sell on Poshmark. Let me know in the comments what your closet is, and I would love to follow you. I am Doodle Turtle on Poshmark, just like I am here on YouTube. And this box is... Ha <laughs> ha It's now open. All right, so I don't know which order this is. I'm just going with a smaller box. So when you order off Poshmark, everything comes in this really cute tissue paper. I do save it. Cause you never know when you're gonna run out of tissue paper and <laughs> need some and especially right now going to the store is like a military battle you know you have to plan your attack out okay. so I'm just gonna start pulling stuff out showing you what I got everything that I bought the description said excellent condition you might mistake it for new so fingers crossed Okay, so this is a t-shirt, a little tank top. It is by Title Unknown. This was one of the last items I picked up and put in my cart. I was trying to get to that 20 mark. I thought it was super cute. I mean, is that not adorable? Um, the reason I hesitated was because it's an extra small and it's a, a, a no-name brand. And then I just saw there's a hole right here. So if this was excellent condition, you might mistake it for new. Unfortunately, that's incorrect right off the bat. Someone has told me that if you contact Thread Up, that they will make good on that stuff. So I'm gonna set this kind of off to the side as something that I need to take a look at and maybe, maybe see about, I can't return it because it was final sale, but maybe they'll give me a credit. These shorts, again, they were one of the last items I picked to take. BKNGC, never heard of this brand, but I thought these shorts were really cute. They're kind of giving me kind of like Lily Pulitzer, Trina Turk vibes. They are a small, um, just by feeling of them, I would not have picked these up if I had been thrifting them. 
personally, because they, they have a polyester-y feel to them. They probably are polyester. But they're cute. And I know I did not give that much for them. I think these items, let me go back and clarify. I think on these items, I was in the outlet, but I went to unknown brand or I will put down here what they actually call that. But basically, they don't have a brand name, I think is what I did. Because these are definitely some unknown brands. But these are definitely cute, and I will sell them. This, again, can you see the vibe? I like a tropical vibe. I like a kind of a Hawaiian vibe. I thought this shirt was adorable. It's got the pom-poms on the bottom. This is, I think, Papaya brand. No, Japna brand. It's a size small. And I just thought that was really pretty. It fits the vibe that I'm trying to get going in my closet of that kind of fun tropical vibe with summer coming on. Thought that was really pretty. One thing in the outlet I've discovered is all the sizes tend to be fairly small. It's things that they haven't sold yet or they've been sitting there for a while. So everything is pretty much a small or an extra small. This is Silence and Noise, which is an anthropology brand. It's an extra small. But I thought it was a pretty kind of ICAT, ICAT, I don't know how to pronounce that. ICAT print top, ICAT print top. I mean, for extra small, this is really, really good size. This may actually be a dress. And it's got the, yeah, a nice v-neck. But I thought that was pretty. I, I think, on average, I paid about $4 per item in here. And then this is another dress. And again, it was kind of a shot in the dark as far as the brand and the size. I can't find it right now. Okay, but <laughs> this is the front. So it's got like the keyhole front. No, <laughs> just kidding. That's the back. <laughs> All right, it's got kind of the keyhole front with a tie. That fun tropical print. This does appear to be in good condition. There's the back. I have no idea where the tag is. And this may have been one of the unbranded because it didn't have a tag. But it looks like it's probably a small. I don't know. I think that's pretty. I love a good hibiscus print. Big tropical orchid print. So this is a tank top. Del Sol. I think this was is actually a vacation tank top. Yeah, from Nassau, Bahamas. But again, it's just a fun print. That tropical print. Nice halter back. It's a 60-40 blend, so it feels pretty good. Happy with that. This shirt. Personally, I loved this shirt. <laughs> I thought it was so cool. It's a little corner of paradise. This is another vacation shirt, I think. I mean, it could be just printed to look like a vacation t-shirt, but it's brown. It's got that fun muscle tee shirt cut. I don't know what that says, but I think that's a place. I don't know. This is one of those where I'm like, you know, if it doesn't sell... It's mine. I love this cut of shirt. I love the styling. It's going to look really good in my closet, both personal and Poshmark. Apparently, all the dresses and tops are over here on the right, so we'll just keep going through those. Okay, this is a dress. It's Hilo Hattie. I remember when Hilo Hattie first came to a mall near us. I was so in love with that store. I've always loved Hawaiian print, top, tropical print stuff. This is just a little, I mean, let's be real. It's just a little cutesy, not very expensive dress. Tube top with a tie, but I just love the print. I think it makes a great little vacation beach cover up. It's got that nice side slip. It's going to look great on Marjean, 
who is also modeling a fun bathing suit I have for sale in my closet. So I like that. I'm happy with that. Mm, automatically, this looks a little bit worn. I don't know that I would mistake it for new. This is Liz Logie. I've never heard of this brand. I just went on looks. But I do think it's pretty. Well, maybe it doesn't look worn. Maybe. Oh, I don't know. Again, I was going for looks. I was going for print. It's got that exposed zipper on the back with this fun detailing at the top. I'm happy with this. I mean, if I can't go to Goodwill, this is the next best thing. Because everything is going to look really good when I get it posted. And I think that as people finally get to start traveling, as people finally start getting back to life, they're going to want some cute, fun summer clothes at a very reasonable price point. This is Morona. This is Target brand. And uh, typically, you know, you have to watch out for your Target brands and your Walmart brands because they're not overly expensive to begin with. Therefore, the resale value is not always great. But I thought this was adorable. So it's got this fun stretchy so you can wear it off the shoulder or you could wear it up on the shoulder. It's got a little tulip kick hem at the bottom and then it's got a tie for some waist detail this is an extra 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 small <laughs> but it's roomy you know so I'll put the measurements on that that could probably fit a small fairly easily I'm very pleased with that um, this top that I'm about to unearth I picked it up for myself um, I've discovered that I really like Judith March everything not everything but a lot of her stuff is just really cute it's right up my alley this is a fun sequin yellow top it is new with tags all right so it's yellow it's sequined it's got this back detail the racer back with the twist Judith March. It is a medium. Um, usually I'm like a schmedium. So if I try it on and it fits, it's mine. <laughs> if it's a little too big, it's going to go on Poshmark. But it is new with tags and it just it caught my eye and it was like, yeah, that needs to come, come to my house. I know if you've watched enough of my videos, I totally don't look like a yellow sequined kind of person but sometimes I'll let my girly side out next on our list again you can see the theme we're going for that tropical print this is collective concepts it is an extra small and it's just this fun easy dress and again I'm kind of saying this is an extra small but it it seems fairly generous for an extra small and it's got an elastic waist so that gives you a little bit more room yeah pretty pleased with that that's another one of those that I would totally wear this so again I was shopping more for style not so much brand on the clothing items I just wanted to get some fun stuff that just screamed summer because I think we're all so tired of being pent up at home that we're dreaming of vacations and we're dreaming of beaches and we want to go places. This is another fun top. This is actually Forever 21. Again, not a hugely high resale value. It's an extra small, but I mean, isn't that pretty? It's just a top, but it's got that fun embroidery. Let's see. I mean, literally everything in this box are things that I would like to take and just put in my own personal closet. I bought way more clothes than I thought I did. Um, this is Max C. It's a small. And it is... Mm, yeah. It's got sheer shoulders and a sheer back. I 
thought I just put my finger in a hole, but <laughs> I did not. Yeah, so this is just a fun v-neck open back dress. It is lined. Yeah, so you're good. It's just the top back that's open, so that's kind of pretty. I'm happy with that. Oh, it's got some button details. I miss those. So some fun little green buttons on the back. And, oh, we are into swimsuits. Y'all, I only bought like four swimsuits, five swimsuits. I thought I bought more than that. Okay, this is Victoria's Secret Pink. I really like to buy Victoria's Secret swimsuits because personally, I love Victoria's Secret swimsuits. And I think that people know that it's generally a quality bathing suit and people trust it. So this is a bandeau with ruffles and it has the, the neck strap. This is a large and it is really good condition. It's got the removable bra pads. Very happy with that. I have actually already sold this exact bathing suit top once before. I picked this up at a yard sale and it had a matching bottom when I picked it up. So it is a bandeau. It does have the removable pads. So this pad is in here all kinds of wackadoo and it's making it not want to lay correctly. It is missing the strap, but that doesn't bother me because owning a lot of Victoria's Secret bathing suits myself, I have a lot of straps and they're all pretty well interchangeable. So happy with that. This one is fun. It is a yellow Victoria's Secret. This is a 32D with the bra cups, with the underwire, and then these fun little flowers going around with the hook on the back, happy with that. Again, the straps are missing, that's kind of a thing. It's a lot of the suits I've bought here lately don't have straps. And then, okay, I don't normally buy bottoms because people are funny about buying bottoms. I have gotten stuck with quite a few Victoria's Secret bottoms before. People buy the top, but not the bottom. But I went ahead and bought a couple because I thought they would go with some of the suits I have listed in my closet. And again, the red up said they were in excellent shape. For example, this is a Victoria's Secret size small with cute little sequins on there. And this one still has the hygienic liner in place. So this is basically new, new without tags. So that's fun and you know, somebody can mix and max match and create their own swimsuit. This one is a no brand, but it's a large. It looks really good, really clean. It's that fun tropical print. Very cute. I like that. And again, it'll look good on Margin. And then lastly, this one is also, um, it's a very basic. It has the hygienic liner in it. That's why I bought this one because it'll go with almost any bathing suit. This is a Venus brand and it's a size 10. That's just a basic off-white swimsuit. Yeah, so that's everything in the first box. Uh, and then box number two, I've already been talking now for 17 minutes, obviously. I'll cut some of that out, but we're going to do uh, a second video, so I will stop here, and then we'll pick up again in a little bit. Thank you again for watching. I hope I'm giving you some ideas on how to source for your Poshmark closet. Whatever you like to sell, ThreadUp is turning out to be a decent place to source. you got to kind of watch your pricing. you got to watch your filters, kind of read their descriptions closely, but only one thing in there that I saw had a flaw. Now, when I look through it again, I may find some more, but I'm pretty well pleased. This is my uh, third thread up box video, and so far, so good. 
So like I said, if you're on Poshmark, drop your closet below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I would love it if you subscribe. And I hope you guys have a great day. Stay strong, y'all. Bye.